the owner of group therapy right next door, Matthew Hi, Hubbard, neighbors. is here with us, and he says his food has sucked. <laughs> Seems like the reviews are <laughs> in, and not many people have had great things to say about the food, but great things to say about the games and the drinks, but not so much about what they're eating. Uh, so. Tell us what happened. How did this all come about? I mean, you're a business owner. Everyone was talking about group therapy. They love the spot, but they're mm -hmm. like, the food is not it. That's right. I mean, I've been really humbled by some of the reviews. Some of them have been great. They've said how great the, the entertainment and the mm -hmm. drinks are, but a lot of mixed reviews with the food. And admittedly, I don't come from food and beverage. Uh, the longest I ever worked at a restaurant was Cracker Barrel, and I, I was just a host, and I lasted 30 <laughs> days. It's hard. It's hard. So it is very hard, and I uh, didn't quite know what I was getting into. I knew the entertainment business really well, but the mm -hmm. food and beverage was not my expertise. Um, so we, we admittedly got some pretty bad reviews. And we wonder, speaking of some of those bad <laughs> yes, reviews, we Marcus, have a couple take, of them here you today. You take the first one. These were real reviews that were submitted. Right. Jenna okay. says, the food you can, you can order is low quality, almost resembles frozen food warmed up. And Ouch. That's because it, it, it was. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Not good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Russ says... Worst, but worst of all is the food. The absolute worst bar food I've ever had. We ordered seven different apps and they were all really, really bad. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, yeah, and, not, not great. And no. Colin was feeling a little masterish. He said the food is subpar. But don't boom. But don't boom. <laughs> Yeah. But Matthew says, listen, this is, we, when we were reading this, like, I really did a double take. I was like, wait, we're really saying his food sucks? <laughs> and we were like, I love that you're taking this head on. You're not trying to say, no, it's fine. Y'all give it another chance. You're like, we hear you. And we're take doing something about it. it. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'd rather just call it what it is. Call it spade yes. a spade and do something to fix it. So we're making a huge investment. Uh, roughly around three hundred thousand dollars to wow. renovate the kitchen with brand new equipment. We'll have fryers, grill tops, a hood system. Can you believe we're doing all of the food that we are doing <laughs> right. without any yeah. of that equipment? Yeah, wow. so that's that's shocking right there. Yeah. Yeah, and of course Greenville is known for the food scene, right? Yeah. There are a ton of great restaurants here, and so we've worked with some of the great chefs here and around Greenville to actually do a chef-inspired menu. Uh, we've been doing some tastings behind yeah. the scenes, yes. and we're really excited to roll this out to Greenville. If you ever need any product and development next door, research and development, yes. we're right next door. We are great, we volunteer we are great and tasters. We won't be as mean as these guys. Yes. Yeah. We'll be honest. Yes. <laughs> People don't realize all the work that goes on behind the scene. I mean, this is like, you know what I mean? It's not like you can get a bad review today and then tomorrow, like, oh, everything's fixed. Right. It takes a minute. I mean, you're investing a lot of money, too. Investing a lot of money, a lot of time, and we've spent about six months to really do this right. I mm -hmm. mean, it's almost like starting up a brand new business, yeah. having to go through this process. Right. So what are some of the new things that you're adding to it, the kind of... Uh, up and you're adding all this equipment and things and bringing in new talent. What are some of the things, the food you're going to be adding to it as well? A lot of fresh items. <laughs> yeah. uh, we heard you loud and clear. Frozen's not the way to go. Mm -hmm. So a lot of fresh stuff, a lot of prep intensive things, but we're really excited because a lot of the flavors come out of that. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about is a tornado potato. Ooh. <laughs> a tornado potato. I love that. I just say want to say it. Fast. Yeah. It's a spiralized <laughs> potato that's going to be done two ways, a Mexican street corn style. Oh, and you a, got me there. Yes. A buffalo um, uh, dip spot uh, style with hot sauce and blue cheese crumbles and scallions. Demarcus really is like, these are like all my favorite things. If so you put a lote and then pickle dip. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and some a pickle, pickle pizza. Dip yes. Oh my gosh. All of that is going to be there. <laughs> also a pickle pizza. And the, one of my personal favorites was the chicken gyro um, yes. pita dip. Oh. So it's going to be really good. Yum. On top of some amazing new food items and big kitchen upgrades, you also have some fantastic events coming up. Yeah, I mean, we've heard great feedback uh -huh. about some of the events. Karaoke night do. is a really good time, I'm just gonna say. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're, we're really doubling down on those things. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, this coming Sunday and the second Sunday of every month through June is gonna be our spring concert series. So we're actually bringing in artists to perform and that's going to be completely free from 2 to 4 p.m. on those Sundays. Oh, that's really fun. Great. An that's afternoon fun. party. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, kind of like the experience that yeah. uh, they have at Noma Square. We yeah. want to bring the group therapy in Camperdown yeah. Plaza. Love so. that. And you Love guys have a great little location here right in Camperdown Plaza. We're not, we're a little biased because, you know, uh -huh. you're our neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> And they don't have they don't ever come asking for anything, so and they have all the games. So we always yes. go over there. Yeah. Yes, but go to their website too, so you can see other dates. Because you'll have like a, a Taylor Swift album release party on the 19th. Yeah, I'm not sure you've heard of her. But yeah, she's, she's kind, kind of a big, big deal. deal. Up and coming artist. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. So uh, we're actually gonna, she's got a new album coming out and uh, our karaoke parties have been a big hit uh, when she's done her re-releases of Taylor's version. So we're really excited to do an album listen party and a karaoke party with prizes, cash prizes for best dressed and best singer. I awesome. love it. Well, we know where you are. You're next door. So we'll drag you back for more. Thank you so much and good yeah. luck with all the Go cool. follow them on social media yes. and their website. All right.